hospital is the last place anyone wants to be, but for a young girl from St. Louis, Cincinnati Children's is one of the only places she does really want to be. But even a condition often called the suicide disease might not be enough to get her here. Local 12's Morella Porter joins us from Children's Hospital with the family's dilemma on her care. Morella. Hey, Paula. Yeah, it's been a roller coaster for Lila McCarty and her family. They were thrilled when they learned that Lila was going to be accepted into a pain program here at Cincinnati Children's, but disappointment came when their insurance company said they weren't going to cover it. Lila McCarty's unbearable pain started in February and hasn't stopped since. It was on the ground sobbing um, and wouldn't let anybody touch her and we couldn't figure out what was happening. Um, that whole night, she was inconsolable. Lila is suffering from a rare condition called complex regional pain syndrome, or CRPS. It's mostly affecting her left leg. The sensations vary, but Lila says sometimes it can feel like everything from stabbing to ants biting her. Even a blanket can cause significant discomfort. And it hurts every day. It really depends when it flares up. Sometimes it'll happen like once a day or sometimes even twice a day. So it's really bad. For months, her parents have tried desperately to find something to relieve her pain. Doctors in St. Louis believe their best bet is an intensive inpatient program, which they found at Cincinnati Children's, but their insurance will not cover it. Despite multiple appeals and a peer-to-peer -peer consultation, their insurance company insists that inpatient treatment is not necessary and the condition can be treated outpatient. We don't have an outpatient program. Um, I think that there are a couple that I've heard of. Many of them don't take patients under 13 or it's an outpatient program even, even farther away than Cincinnati. At only 10 years old, Lila is losing hope. The condition, often called the suicide disease, is taking a toll on her mental health. Once I learned that Lila had had thoughts of not wanting to continue to be around because of this, we, we became urgent um, and aren't, aren't willing to take a chance um, when she's in so much pain. Now, the out-of-pocket cost for the treatment is $67,000. Lila's mom says that it's a tough pill to swallow knowing that their only hope is relying on strangers to get Lila the help that she needs. Live at Cincinnati Children's, Morella Porter, Local 12 News. Mm. Well, maybe she will get that help. We're going to put up a link to a fundraiser for Lila at local12.com. You will find it linked to this story.